Good morning. Good morning. Thank y'all for uh tapping in with me this morning. Welcome back to Who Won the Life Sentence? Uh, quarters nine session. I appreciate you guys for coming in, spending a little time with me this morning. Uh, y'all know it's always a privilege. Um, to my top supporters, Melissa Hill, my boy Nico, I really appreciate y'all. Y'all be tapping in, y'all be staying engaged, and y'all be supporting. I really appreciate you guys. Uh, I don't want to ever let that go uh, overlooked. Um, I decided we're going to hold up on them stories for a little while. You know what I mean? We'll start those back in a minute because, you know, the donations be, once the donations hit a certain, uh, spot, then we'll start the stories back and it just can't be Melissa Hill and my boy Nico doing all the donating, man. You know, somebody else got to do that. So enough about that. I'm still going to post the cash out. Um, so guess what? Today we got... Today we got boss top. Today we gonna get on boss top. Um, well, to be honest, man, boss top. You know he just called five years. I think I can. Uh, I think I can get you on in and out. You know, get you out the way before I finish this cup of coffee. So uh, we'll run a quick clip, and I'm gonna grab the Joe, and we'll roll like that. Get going, I'm gonna this. Catch them with their ass. Yeah, I'm for getting it. Now you found out I'm for a rat and shit. Like, nope. <laughs> right, cause like, didn't somebody rat on you for your jail time? I mean, you know how that should go. Was it like a close friend or a family member? Bitch K. Yeah. His family His name members? was William. His name was William. William. His ass is a fucking rat. <laughs> okay, his name was fucking William. Stay away from the Williams. I ain't never. You know, just the community, how it is out here. It's a normal day, I swear to God. Normal day, bus like this every day? It's a normal day. Nah, look. Has it always been like this? Like, or like, it just got like this, like, nah, since y'all got on the map? Yo, no, we been going this rap shit. We been busting the whole year. Motherfucker know about the list. Gang, everybody know about the list. On Keto. So everybody wants to know who was Keita to you because you always, you know, saying her name. Uh, RPT, that's her name right here, man. My face right here, man. RPT. She's from Old Block too? Yeah, that's the first lady, man. RP that lady, man. RP Keita, man. It's the fucking lady, man. On game. Don't never disrespect that lady, man. Don't disrespect that lady. Who was you closest to? Like, you know, all the rappers, we see who you with now, but like growing up, like who was like some people that people want to know who you closest to? What you mean? Like, who was your, like, friends growing up? Because we know you got, like, a thousand friends, but, like, who was the ones you was the closest to growing up? As far as, far as like, like your homies. Rappers. What are you talking about, like, just, like, them? Yeah, like, or, just in general, like, yeah. Oh, the gang, I'm the closest to the, the block. The block, the gang, yeah, motherfucker. All my dear homies, we, we all close. Ain't no big ass little use, yeah, motherfucker, close. Yeah, my fuck close. Exactly. One, cause, one circle. Cause I seen walk in, everybody like a lot of people had the old block chains. Yeah. This bitch busting. Yeah. See my boy, we man right there. Yeah. The Ouija right there. <laughs> this shit ain't no motherfucker. Uh, this shit ain't no motherfucker chain. This, this, this like, it's like a trophy to her. This our brother, you know. This shit more than the chain. This shit way more than the chain. This shit, this shit, this shit our lifestyle. Uh, yeah. It's not a lifestyle. What you day. What you close with OD? Yeah, that's my boy on OD. I was like one of my best friends, man. I, was, like, I had like three best friends, man. Mm. Oh, was one of uh, them. You know, the other one. The other one, he, you know what I'm saying? He hung himself. He hung himself. Okay, so. Today we got Boss Top, man. Um. You know, he definitely qualifies for the list as a real nigga. Um, 
we going I'm gonna watch what I say about them because unfortunately the Chicago guys definitely believe in dying over words. Exactly. So do you got any y'all wanna you know stir up them, but do you got any like thoughts like on FBG Duck, you know, any thoughts on them? Like did you know him? Who duck? Did you know him before I ain't like no everything? Duck like that. I don't know. Okay. All I know, don't say that shit about Troy. Or rest in peace. Duck. <laughs> Okay, he's like, you got any, anything about uh, FGD Duck? We, yeah, that's you know what I'm saying. You know, don't say shit about Troy. That's it. Don't say shit about Troy. <laughs> Get that guy over there. <laughs> Whatever, you know me. Come on, man, don't do that. Don't do that. You know I know that. Stop playing. Stop playing. Do that. Stop playing. Dying over something uh, someone just simply says to you out their mouth. That is, you know, I, I can't describe that. I, I'm not from the culture, so I, I don't subscribe to it. So I can't see it, act like I understand it, but I can say that it's such a shame. Um, just on the flip side, could you imagine if, uh, could you imagine if white folk, white people had it uh, set up? <clears throat> In some certain kind of way as to where they told each other, man, look, all you got to do is call that white boy right there, say this word to him, and he will pull out a gun and, and commit a murder on sight. Throw his entire life away uh, for, all the wrong for all the wrong morals and values. And, and, and it actually be done. Could you imagine that? Me neither. I, I couldn't see it, but, but we have... Some kind of way um, seem to master it upon uh, right here in our culture. So we're going to watch what we say. We're going to watch how we talk. You know, we the only ones do each other like that. But, you know, here we is. The reason why Boss Talk, Boss Top actually made it here uh, is because, to be honest, uh, he, he just copped out the five years. It was a little while ago, like, like in June or something. But I think... Uh, this one of the hardest fighting guys I've ever seen trying to get into prison. I mean, he already in prison, but trying to get caught up deep until he can't get out. I mean, to a point where he's just a memory and is, is free to guys and all that and all that. And I've never understood that because it'd it be free to guys, free this, free that. And But, but I mean, guys be literally... Uh, uh, Doing everything they can to, to, to get in there. So, um, and then not to mention, I think if, if my calculations are correct, he's about 32, 33 years old. Which means it's way past due. Way past due for a change. Way past due for a wake up. But, hey, you know, sometimes they don't, sometimes it don't happen like that. So, what I got wrote down here, of course, he make the, the real nigga list. Um, you know, in order to do that, it means, um, you know, the, the streets got to be willing to take everything from you. Your life, uh, your your friends or family, and your future. Uh, well, your future is kind of your life. Your life, your friends, your family, and your freedom. He, he, he's in prison right now. That's your freedom. Uh... O.D. Perry was supposed to be one of his, uh, and, and I'm not going to say it's supposed to be, is we're going to say one of his best friends. He's gone. King Von was uh, real close to him. He's gone. And who else, you know, how many more don't we know about just from being over there? They gone. And what we do, continue to stay there, continue to go back. Now, this boy seemed to be a, a career criminal. I mean, everything from home invasions to guns uh, by convicted felons don't seem like there's even to like burglaries and what so it don't seem like it's much that'll go past him he'll he'll just about do anything and you know that was good I was like that that was good at about anywhere from 17 to at the max 25 you know once you start if I'm not mistaken you 32 33. So that 35 is right around the corner. Then you start realizing, 
I can't do this for, well, I don't know if you guys ever do that. I don't, do you guys ever do that? Do you guys in Chicago ever realize that there's a point where you just can't, can't do the same thing no more? It really gets old. You know, you have to, uh, your bones get old. You, you don't want to look over your shoulder no more. You want to rest, man. And if that's not, you know, the only thing that I can see is you guys don't really plan to make it to these ages. So it's never thought about. So it's probably actually a bad thing to get old, to get 35 and to get 40. So maybe I've been thinking about this thing wrong. Maybe it's, you know, the, the, the time to be had or the time to do what needs to be done has already gone. And once you get around them thirties, mid thirties on up, you, 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 you know, it's really like the end of life. So you really just e either need to be dead or gone forever because there's no future. There's no future on, on the outside. Cause you, all you know is how to be a young nigga. And then you're not a young nigga no more. So you can't do nothing. You can't, you can't go to school. You can't go get a, a, a real job, a corporate job, a government job. All you can do is get some pieces and went, who on the trap when they 50 and 60 and all this. So maybe I've been looking at this thing wrong. I might have to go back and reevaluate. Um, according to, you know, my research, it said both parents were GD. Now he's a BD. Um, so that's, you know, whatever, but both parents were in a gang, you know, even when you look at stuff like that, it's hard to say that it's his fault. Or even if he lacked good decision-making skills, it's, it, it's not his fault, but it is his fault, you know, because I can clearly see intelligence. This is really why I'm on your ass today, boss top. Cause you know, be sad as it is, I can see intelligence. I can see that you're not just the the regular knucklehead. You 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 one of them ones who refuse to um make a good decision, refuse to be a leader. You know, and if you do be a leader, it's going to be a leader for the goofy shit, not a leader for something righteous. You know, showing folk how to start a business, go from nothing to ground up or do whatever. You, you know, your leadership going to come it's going to lead them into a prison where you at right now. That That's that's where your leadership going gonna to lead them at. So this is the reason why you made the show, which means, you know, it, it, it ain't even personal, but that just qualifies you as a bullshit ass nigga. And we really don't need no more out here. You know what I mean? You probably best in there. Y'all going to eat on each other. You probably just best in, the, in that prison. You know, who knows? I mean, y'all fighting for a lot of time. In my own opinion, like I said, both parents win the game. I don't think you ever stood a chance. You probably have never heard a positive word came whispered in you. The crazy thing about it is, like, so, even your peers, even your peers, I think a lot of them are knuckleheads. Um, Lil Dirt, Chief Keith, uh, FYBJ Maine, King Yellow, uh, Ruger, uh, 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 Rico Reckless. All these people, they, they might be a knucklehead in their own way or in their own right, but they not in the middle of the fire. They not right there in the middle of the bullshit to catch active charges. No matter what they do, they done. No matter what, you know, no matter what kind of stupid shit they do, they do it somewhere in Las Vegas, California, somewhere where it's not connected to a Rico. You know, I don't know if it said in the rat that, you know, it, it's scared if you don't come back. Man, it's sad. Like, it's the one thing I always say about Chicago, man, it's sad that uh you guys have absolutely, absolutely no uh, no, no, no value for life. I mean, it's, it's, it should be priceless, but you guys have absolutely no value on it. Like, like y'all know for sure we get to try this shit again. For instance, check this out.
Hey, this is a fair warning to the kids, man. All the kids in O Block, if you under 14 and under, I advise you to stay the fuck in the crib. Tell your mama to tell you to stay in the crib. Because on the guys, look here, little bro, now all y'all. It's five of us, five switches. Switches, four bullets coming out at one time. <laughs> or two, one of them bitches on the guys. Yeah. Them bitches be spent so fast, I don't even know my clip going. Yeah. That's why I carry an extra clip. But look here. I can't believe old block, man. I put my heart and soul in this block. Hey, you block two, free, uh, 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 free 22 shot OBMG. Yo, I block two, I don't even know you, bitch. Hey, Breon, how you doing, buddy? You talk they see it. No, I don't tell no secrets, man. I'm Snitch K, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm still old block. I'm still Big P. I'm still Big Donnell, man. But my new name, Ghost, though, you know Cause a nigga always talking about don't pull back to the block. I don't know why these bitch ass shorties always telling me don't pull on the block. You gonna get it. Who do y'all be talking to, school? The wall? Is you talking to me? You can't be talking to Darnell. You can't be. This is a big ass block on dirty. We got from 66 to 64. How do I fucking get in these gates every day? No, I ain't saying nothing to your cash out, ball out. To you answer my question. Like, baby, school, I said, yo, cash, I ain't sending shit to nobody else, uh, cash out, bro. Yo, cash out, if you ain't got no cash out, get up with me and get the cash. Don't be scared of nothing, I'm not on shit, on Avion Giver. You can come meet me anywhere, I'm gonna meet you. You ain't, you ain't gotta bring nobody with you or nothing, we cool, Scoomy. I love you to death, school. Y'all little kids that need to stay out of the way, bro, this ain't y'all feel, school. Leave me alone, on my own. I'm trying to fucking kill a whopping Joey. That's it, bro. Y'all stay out of my business, bro. That's it. Don't rouse this block. I'm telling you, y'all gonna lose, girl. I know every low, every town. I know where my fucking live at, school, all that. I don't do it. Don't even play with me. Y'all stay in y'all lane, little folks. That's it, bro. I'm trying to kill two people. That's it. It's only one me. Leave me alone. Y'all see me go the other way, bro. I don't do it. Just leave me alone, bro. I'm not on shit with none of y'all, bro. I love y'all the last too much, bro. Leave me alone. But send your cash out, Scum. I got you, bro. Happy birthday again, my nigga. Uh, who that is? Do the man. All right, do the what you on, school up. Know where I'm at. Novak. Now, first of all, I want to say this. I really feel bad for that young brother. I mean, the... 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 The chaos is so normal that they're able to, it's not much difference from loving and hating from, you know, there's, there's, it's not much difference. I mean, it, it, it literally sounds like he could walk up to a group of people and, and repeat that same thing and it not sound too bad. Say like, uh, if, if he went to, um, a spot where it was five or six people gathered and, he was telling them, like, look, man, I, I really ain't no nothing, bro. I ain't no nothing, man. You know, we good. I love y'all, man. We we been rocking. It's all good. I'm just trying to kill them two niggas right there, man. Outside of that, bro, we ain't got no problem. And that's almost normal. That's almost normal. It's just, it's just everyday business, man. I ain't, I ain't got no, it, it, you know, I just, I'm gonna kill them two niggas there. Then we go back to how it used to be. Almost like a nigga asking for a fight. Like, bro, y'all jumped on me yesterday, but it's all good. I just wanna, I just wanna, let me get, get around from you, get around from you, and then we good. It's just almost as normal as having a fight. Not only that, but the man called his own name. He called his mother's name. 
you know, he put it on who, you know, it sounds like most time it's your mama, right? He put it on that, uh, he called location, you know, and all this is on the internet on live. So this is why I said, I'm, 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 the more I research, I'm tempted to believe they just want the, the reputation that's the, the biggest killer and the craziest nigga and fuck the rest of life. Man, I'm so glad I chose life. So the streets took your freedom. It done took your, some of your closest friends and now it's time to take your life. And I'm, I'm going to be honest, man, uh, from what you've shown and from what we see, I'm willing to bet that you're just going to come out even after your time is over that you're going to come out and, and do and be the same way and do that until you are no more. Which is, you know, why we predict, you know, it, if you're going to continue to keep on, it's not long before you hit that light sentence, before they get. Oh, to be rapping. You know, I don't know what it is, man, but for some reason, you old niggas don't want to be old niggas. Y'all want to be young niggas. Y'all want to fit around them same young niggas for life. That's just not how it goes, old man. Bro, you look like you need to be on a construction site somewhere. Go on somewhere, pick you a hammer. I ain't talking about no gun. Go on somewhere, pick you up a... A, a, a jackhammer and a, and, a, and a construction hat, and some boots, and a vest. You don't look like you need to be rapping, brother. I'm going to be honest, man. That shit was garbage as hell. That shit was garbage as hell. It's just time to grow up. It's just time to grow up. That's all I can see. Boss Top had some issues in jail. It's a punching bag, boy. You know what I'm saying? Boss Top, though. Like, y'all got to really pay attention, bro. A lot of these. These artists, man, is getting so so far up, gang, and they getting drugged right back down, gang, to where the f they started. 
because they going to jail, bro, and they ain't going to jail for no petty shit like DUIs and shit like that. These niggas going to jail for home invasion, robberies, and murders and shit, gang. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, damn, you scribe so hard to try to make yourself a better person to you, like, slightly in the media eye, but you, it's like you still on the same shit. You know what I'm saying? Now, I was going to go through your uh, your criminal records rap sheet, but to be honest, man, that ain't necessary. Just from what we done gained right here on the internet, we pretty much know that you're an asshole. Um, everywhere from burglaries to uh, firearms to home invasions to attempted murders and the rest. So we ain't even got to go through that. Like I said, man, we hope you the best. Uh, we, we, I almost said we wish you the best in there, man. Yeah, uh, that might be where your little crazy ass need to be, uh, gang. And hopefully, if you come out, man, you can do something else with your life, man. You could work for the, you know, be, uh, work for work for your, your transit system in your city, or or um, uh, I don't know, man. You could do anything. But if not, we predict the life sentence. That's it. That's all. Boss top life sentence.